So we currently have over 100 participants and we have over 300 registered people. So I think some people are still joining. In the last couple of minutes, we are going to introduce the conference and explain how you can take the best advantage of it and what is our program for today. So today is the 10th of October. Uh, probably if you are on the other side of the planet, could be the 11th of October. And we appreciate all of you that are very far. And uh, that is the beauty of this community. We have people all over across the world. The Open TAC conference is for everyone that is interested in the TAC family, not only ADAC. In the meanwhile, we have also WinTAC and other pro products that are available to you, like the FreeTAC server. And we have also new tools being created every day. And we hope to get also plugins to connect more and more stuff. We want to introduce the open tech community to all the interested parties, present projects, tools, and approaches so that everyone is on the same page. And today we are going to have a series of lecture by using this platform that is called GoToWebinar. So let me start welcoming you. And I would like to introduce my boss, that is Wally. Wally uh, is so nice that provide us the platform that we are using and uh, the organization that uh, we represent to sponsor in this conference. Wally, can you please introduce yourself and a little bit who we are? Yes, <laughs> certainly. Uh, thank you for that introduction, Ju, and welcome everyone uh, to the FreeTAC virtual conference. We certainly appreciate your, your interest and attendance. And I'd also like to thank the other organizers, I've done a fantastic job putting this together and, and not only myself, but the rest of us at Spark Services North America are, are pretty excited about this. So I'm Wally McLaughlin, I'm the Vice President of Sales at Spark Services North America or SSNA, as you will probably see quite a bit of that acronym today. Just a little bit about who we are and what we do. We represent Spark Systems uh, platform or stack of products, software products in the United States. Some of you might be familiar with some of those products. They include Enterprise Architect, ProCloud Server, and Prolaborate. Enterprise Architect started as a UML modeling tool about 20 years ago and now supports uh, dozens of different standards and can be used for, for multiple different disciplines or applications. And it's it's very heavily used in the federal space. We do a great deal of work there or do a great deal of work in the federal space uh, with the stack. And as far as the organization, what we bring to clients is the ability to apply best practices and industry standards for their architecture work. Uh, we do this through several different applications, including enterprise architecture, model-based systems engineering, business process modeling, just to name a few things. We work across numerous industries and have sold over 800,000 licenses uh, of Enterprise Architect uh, since we started. So I'm, I'm thinking that several of you are familiar with Enterprise Architect, given the, the amount of federal use or federal licenses that are that are used and operated right now. If you have any questions or would like any other information uh, about the products, please contact me. We would be more than happy to set up a demo for you and, and get you started with trial licenses if you are interested. So, Ju, would you like to add anything to that? No, thank you. Um, the only thing that I would like to add that is Wally has been so kind in supporting my free time in this community. And until now, we have not uh, engaged this community as a organization. I only ask uh, Wally to support that by providing the platform. So that is my complete personal time that has been invested until now, so that we keep a very clear why we are here and what is the difference between me as a part of this organization and me as uh, you know free time uh, uh, provider of services. Uh, we have a lot of, to cover. So Wally, you want to add anything? No, have a great conference. And once again, thank you all very much for attending. Uh, we're looking forward to this. Great. So today, 
we are going to have a very intense program. Most of the time, we are going to spend 30 minutes on a certain uh, topic. Uh, we have only one exception where we are going to go inside the code. So uh, very shortly, we will have the pleasure to introduce a team one name that is our honored guest as uh, Operation Common CTO. It's a very impressive title. And he will give us a perspective of open source community. And then we have the other very important person in this community, the person that has made all of that uh, possible. You may know him as Attack Release, but his name is Ralph Kohler and is our TAC evangelist and is the liaison with the government. Uh, and then we will have Charlie. Charlie is also a very important person because he's responsible for the TAC Product Center and he will explain to us how is the government intending to manage the open community. So we can ask a lot of questions to, to Ralph that has been uh, you know, asked in uh, the community before. Then uh, we are going to have Josh Sterling talking about, okay, what is that we can do if we sign a plugin and how we can take advantage of uh, you know, the plugin and how we can distribute them. That is the government track between now and 13, 15 uh, uh, East. All the times are in Eastern time, so United States uh, Eastern time. So we will jump then in the development track, and we have here something that is uh, uh, very, very <laughs> discussed in the community. Uh, the analog radio interface kit, Eric, is a audio modem plugin, and Nate from BBN will explain to us what we can do with that, if that is real or it's only a joke, and we will learn about that. Then the next is Chris Lawrence uh, from the TAC Product Center is going to give us a tour of the attack source. And this is the only topic that we will cover in three sections. So it's one and a half hour, because as you probably know, uh, attack is a huge, huge application. And uh, uh, I hope that Chris will give us some insights Next is going to be Alan, Alan, aka Pins Gower in uh, Discord, has created a library for interacting with the tax servers. So it allows you to create your own client easily. And then we will have Paul. Paul is uh, another user called uh, or name uh, Digital Sport Athlete on Discord. And he will explain to us how he has created a plugin in Attack. Finally, for the development track, we are very glad to have Kong Cheng on board. And Kong is a, a Radakat vice president. As you know, we discussed that in the community. Radakat is providing a, a very, very good device uh, that support LoRa on the commercial space. And now they are interested in producing, and probably he will show us the plugin that they have created so that you can leverage this device uh, within the uh, ad hoc space. And finally, we'll jump into the user track. And myself, I am Gio Platania, aka Corvo on Discord. I will introduce the FTS roadmap. As you probably know, FTS is the free tax server. It's the piece of software that allows you to connect with uh, uh, different ad hoc so that they can communicate together. Josh Fuller uh, was so nice to jump in because we had another speaker that was not available and will uh, explain to us 10 things that you don't know and you can do with ADAC. So I look forward to that. And then Nate will give us a demo of the usage and maybe the release of Eric. And finally, Nata, Nata is goes one and the eight on Discord, and is the lead developer of uh, the FreeTalk server, will uh, give us an insight of uh, how we are planning to do the FTS API and why the way in which we create the stuff can be relevant also for other developments. So uh, before I jump and I leave uh, team, introduce uh, the keynote of the conference, some rules of the conference, 
So as you have seen, we have four tracks. Uh, what I'm doing right now is the initial administrative track, and then we were a user development and government. Those are uh, lectures. That means you cannot talk. However, we are really interested in uh, listening to your questions and uh, we invite you to participate and you can do that in three different ways. Number one, we have a chat uh, within the go to, uh, go to uh, uh, web uh, uh, conference system. And in alternative, you can comment live using our Discord channel. And if you want to have your question uh, really answered, we suggest to post them on Reddit. We created a dedicated topic uh, for each of the talk. So if you post that on Reddit, the speakers are committed to uh, look at that Reddit and try to answer all the questions they can. Finally, all those lectures are going to be recorded and we will publish them on the ATAC YouTube channel. And Ralph has created a uh, special list that will contain all the different uh, topics and uh, it will require a little bit to be published so let's us have some time to be able to publish them on the youtube but you can expect that in uh, within one month from now <laughs>